Disney Interactive Studios. A Universal production now. Square Enix. That's right. Me and Andrew are back. We're playing a new game. Oh, well, it's not it's not a new game. But it's a new game in our series of games that we play. Kingdom Hearts. HD version. From a 1.5 collection. I... This is one of the games I've always wanted to play. But it... Well, I say always. It, it's ever since... Alright, here's the thing. PewDiePie, he began playing this game. I was like, oh yeah, somebody new is playing this game. I've always wanted this. I've always wanted to see somebody play through this game. He stopped after halfway through Alice in Wonderland, which I don't blame him. Alice in Wonderland sucks. It's the worst thing. We're just going to play on Ordinary. Uh, what? Rotates camera in the field. Uh, I don't know about that. Manual. I'll just put oil. Oh, oh. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So there you go, we start it. Um, yeah, he didn't carry it on, so I was a bit disappointed, but I couldn't blame him. Then Oni, from Oni Cartoons, he's got his own uh, gaming channel, he started playing it with his friends. He has now stopped playing it. So, after a while, I was just sat in my bedroom alone, and I fell asleep. And then I had a dream. And in the dream, I was playing on my own. I was playing one of, with one of those... Uh, those bouncy ball on a attached to a string, attached to a ping pong bat. Yeah, you know what I mean. This is disgusting. I was playing with one of them, and this guy came. This, this little, this little pixie a bee thing came up to me and said, I've been "Hey, hey are you all right, Daniel? Are, are you all right? You look kind of shared." I was like, "Well, really, I am, because I'm getting pretty sick of. You know, all I want is what. All I want to do is watch somebody play this game. Is that too much to ask? Yeah, I know what you mean, but." You know, you you do Let's Plays, don't you? You you do Let's Plays on your channel, don't you? Is this pixie going to rape you? And I was like, no, well, we'll just keep listening, you'll find out. Um, no, you know what, you're right. I, I do have my own gaming channel. I could do it. I have the means to do it. I can do it. Wow, thanks. Thanks, B. I was like, yeah, no problem, but y you gotta know that, you know, my information doesn't come free, you know. I gotta... I, I gotta be paid, you know? Well, I don't have any money. You would... Oh, that's alright. You don't need money. I, I just want a piece of that sweet ass you got there. My, my ass? You, you mean this? Oh, yeah, that's right. Bend over. Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me see. Now spread your butt. Spread your butt. Let me see. Oh, yeah. That's a nice butt you got there. Ooh! And then he continued to make love to me. <laughs> Not rape me. So, <laughs> fuck you, Andrew, for thinking I get raped in my dreams. I don't. Okay. So, we're watching through this cinematic right now. And one thing I should mention. the Even though I respect this decision of Yutada Hikaru, the singer in this, in this uh, wonderful song, it is copyrighted. So, I can't show it on YouTube. But what I can do is I can make my own remix and then dub it over. Which is what I'm going to be doing. So slightly, th this this lovely cinema cinematic will be. What do you think this is supposed to mean? Oh yeah. Okay. So he's falling into water. It means he's about to piss himself because he's asleep right now. He's about to piss himself. Yeah, um, but he was. And he, he was just like, no, don't piss. I'm flying next to you in he your was, life. He was standing next to Kari when he saw himself falling into the sky. Kari. Kari. He's name? not Brum. Run, run, run. Kyrie, you gotta right, slow down. Alright, Kyrie, whatever. Kyrie, there you go. Have you noticed how Sora's wearing like a one piece? Yeah, that really pisses me off. What? It looks stupid. He's he, he looks cool because he's got the he's got the jacket on on top. And he's got the belt but if to you, break but it up. If you focus on the midpoint where his trousers and his t shirt are actually one in the same. They are one in the same. Mm. It doesn't look good. No, it awesome. looks really weird. Like it looks like, like the middle is really digging into his crotch. Yeah, it can't be comfortable. So there's Snow White. She's a big part of this story, for some reason. And that's like your first inclination that this is going to be a Disney game, slash Square Enix. So like most Square Enix games, this 
it's going to be RPG. It's going to have RPG elements, but not a lot of them, I think. Not a lot of them. There's leveling up, but I think that's about it. There's some choices you make in this game, which, Andrew, you will be making these choices. Yes. Use the left stick to move around. And then you walk. Look at this walk animation. He's like... <laughs> He's got gusto. Yeah. Now, this is based, essentially, it's a bit like Lego. It's a huge crossover dimension. What? What? This is like Lego games. It's a huge crossover dimension. Oh, Lego games. Well, you didn't say that. You just said Lego. Well, bricks and color. It's true. Is that the crossover? <laughs> it's true of Lego too because we have movies. Well, that's Lego movies. <laughs> you sound like that's Lego movies, man. That's not Lego. Okay, so here's your first decision. You don't like that, do you? Not really. I don't like that video now. So, what do you want? All right. We can choose. Okay, we'll just we'll just we'll cycle through all of them. If I can jump on it, that looks like a dildo. <laughs> yeah, it's Mickey Mouse's dildo. Uh, look at him. What am I gonna do with this? Yeah, he's just like, hmm. I'm really. Is this the power you seek? Hmm. Is do you want the power of a dildo? Yes or no? We'll just cycle through them. So that's the power of a dildo. Just tell me what all of these things are and what they do. They just... Okay. Okay, that. I want the sword. You want the sword? Yes. You know what? The power of a warrior. Invincible courage. A sword of terrible destruction. Well, I could have guessed that. All those things? Yes. So you want this one? Well, it's basically offensive, isn't it? Yeah. So you want this one? Yes. Good choice. The best good defense choice. is a good offense. So it says the path is set. That basically just alters... Um, how you level up, what abilities you get first. Mm -hmm. So which one do you want to get rid of? Um, Defense. Magic. No wait, magic. no wait, 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 wait. Is magic heal or is that potions? Both. Uh, well, look, no, magic, ma you can heal using potions and you can heal using magic, so whatever. I, I'd say go for magic because defense is good, but I have a philosophy that if you're good enough at a game, you don't need lots of health. Okay. And I'm, yeah, I'd say I'm pretty good at this game. Mm. I'm not terribly good, like some. Let's I mean, that's a bit, that's a bit reductive because more health can help you with like little mistakes, like saying Dark Souls. But basically, if you're good enough to not get hit, and you've got strong enough attack, that's going to help you more than like just being able to make more mistakes. Okay, so you made your choices. They don't really make much much of a difference. Mm -hmm. It's quite significant, actually. I, 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 I can't remember what game it was that made me realise this, but... Basically, if you get the strongest power-ups, that'll make the character in the game stronger, but if you don't get the strongest power-ups, that'll make you, as a player, stronger. Absolutely. That is the truth, no doubt. Preach, brother, preach! Alright. Dance, water, dance! So now that all the, um... Hey, you made a reference, how about that? Mm. Now yeah, that I've the... actually never played these games, but I know so much about them because of you. Yeah. I played the shit out of the second game, so this game I'm not so as good at. See, if we would have picked something other than a sword, we would be, we'd be carrying that instead. Mm. And the shield is the worst thing. A lot of people think that the, that the shield is the one of the best choices to make. Oops. But they're wrong. Yeah. Well, no, they're not wrong. It's completely... Whatever. It's your choice. If you want to be a magic player, you choose a staff. If you want to be a defense character, you choose a... You know, you choose the shield. It it, it doesn't really matter. Because in the long run, you'll reach 99 levels, and then you'll be badass against everything. Although in this game, it's slightly harder because you get, like, different characters. Mm. And, uh, different enemies. Oh shit, I'm getting fucked up. This is like eco, isn't it? Uh, I suppose it is, yeah. Bunch of black guys coming after you. With glowing eyes. Hmm. And also they squash into the ground to dodge you. Ooh, nice balls. National, hey. He was on her boobs. No. What? She's brunette. <clears throat> Cinderella isn't brunette. Oh yeah, that's incorrect. Ooh. Oh, oh. Sing, sweet nightingale. Ah. Thanks, wet nightingale. You know, as You're a bitch, I'm a girl. As much as I'm not entirely fond of these games for particular reasons, um, I suppose it, they are a good vector for, you know, discussing Disney movies. Yeah, they are. Mm. Like right now, we can't really do much. Good, well, you know. Actually, 
these are the best times to, to talk about these princesses. Because you don't see the princesses in this game as much as you do in the second game. Yeah, why is that? Uh, just because... I don't know, maybe they couldn't get the voice actresses at the time. But then they got, then this became a really popular game. And then by the second game, you can... You, you know, you hear Cinderella talking. You hear um, Jasmine talking. Jasmine didn't talk at all. They get Christopher Lee to voice, like, a, an important character. And Christopher oh, yeah. Lee is a, you know, a modest badass. Oh, he was. Well, yeah, he died. But he's still a badass. I bet he's in heaven right now killing Nazis. Who snuck through the borders. Oh, Jesus! I just tried to attack something. Do you know he actually did that? He was a Nazi hunter after the war. Christopher Lee? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No, he was. He hunted Nazis. I mean, unless someone lied to me, but I'm pretty sure they didn't. Oh, I got a potion. That'll come in handy for when we need a potion. Um, in fact, one time, when he was talking to Peter Jackson, he's saying, right, when you get stabbed, I want you to make this noise. And he says, oh, no, no, it sounds a lot more like this. And he's like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, I've heard it. Because he's stabbed a lot of people. And he said it's something like, all the lung, no, all the air either comes out of you or you, you try to... I don't remember exactly what he said, but basically he stabbed people. Yeah, he knew he knew what he was talking about. Yeah. I've stabbed a lot of Japanese people. Not no, Japanese. And it seems annoying because when, he seems to always play really bit characters who tend to die quite easily. Like Count Dooku. He, could, he got killed like in the opening of number three, didn't he? Yeah, but he didn't die at all in the second film. Well, no. But, you know. He was a main baddie in the second film. Yeah, but he got killed off in kind of a chump way. Oh, this is a dick move. <laughs> Hold on, the door won't open yet. What the fuck? I just opened it. Do you think there's a degree of um, favoritism in this? Towards, you know, Square Enix characters over Disney characters? Well, yeah, they're, I imagine they're proud of them. Well, I just mean, like, you can defeat all the bad guys from Disney. But, like, when it comes to Sephiroth in number two, it's like, only Cloud can beat me because Cloud is awesome. Yeah. Okay, can you make a decision, please? Oh, well, uh, what are you afraid of? Getting old, being different, being indecisive? Um, well, I'm not afraid of being different. I am very indecisive, but I'm not afraid of it, so I suppose getting old. Oh, okay. Alright. I think that's the one most people pick. But I mean, I'm not that scared of getting old either, because I've never really felt that young. I'm not scared of any of this shit, but I have to choose one. What's most important to you? Being number one? Definitely not. Friendship? I guess friendship? Ah, uh, is friendship such a big deal? I don't like anyone. Selfie? What the fuck? I know. You little psycho. That's like a really creepy thing for a cute little girl to say, isn't it? Well, we all know how much of a psycho she is. Is this the one who always says you know? No. No. What do you want out of life? To see rare sights? To broaden my horizons? Uh, to I broaden guess, that ass. <laughs> I guess broaden horizons because... You picked all the same ones I did. Mm, that's weird. Are we quite similar? I, I just think we are, yeah. We had the same, similar upbringing. Yeah. We were in the same house and we got... S similar brought... DNA. You want friendship and you would go to any limits to get it. I want friends! I'll kill my friends to get them <laughs> if I have to! I'll kidnap the files and children before I let this company die, and I'll silence anyone who gets in my way! You know what? <laughs> Let's watch my favorite part again, shall we? I'll kidnap a thousand children So, what's I let good, this even though die? this doesn't make much of a difference, it always does ask you, are you sure you want to do this shit? Yeah, a lot of game, a lot of RPGs do that. Like, you pick things in an abstract sense, and then it just goes ahead and asks you, Hey, here's what these things really mean. What do you want? They do it in Fallout twice. <laughs> like, you know, you take the um, test, don't you? Yeah. And then they just say, hey, the test is bullshit. Here's all the random shit that you got. Just change it. And that kind of demeans the point to me. And um, Have you suddenly just turned Liverpoolian? Wait, why have you given me the headphones? Because you're listening to this game. I don't want to. No, you have to. Why? Because I don't want you just sat here not having anything to do with this playthrough. Uh, you might as well. What do you mean, not having anything to do with it? I'm talking to you. Yeah, you're talking to me, but you've got nothing to do with the game. Well, oh, I don't see how listening to it is going to make Gale. much difference. I just think it would be more valuable to you. 
<clears throat> You're more valuable to me. No, oh, look at Andrew. Doesn't he doesn't like when people are nice to him? Squeegee, squeegee. That is, yeah. <laughs> I am a lot more comfortable with people being mean to me, honestly. That's a terrible thing. Well, okay, not that, but I don't like. I, I sometimes get a bit weird about people complimenting me, like whenever I put a YouTube video up on YouTube and people are saying, "Oh, it's great, it's great," and I kind of want to want to reply to them, but all I can really say is thank you, and. If I start saying thank you over and over again with no variation, it starts to feel disingenuous. So I guess I'm very uncomfortable with being praised in some sense. Do you know what made me feel comfortable earlier? What? You were we were having a bathroom break in between recordings. Not at the same time. No, but I think I know what, what you're gonna say. All right, I was making my way up the stairs, and that's yeah. where and I, I and I had left my cup at the top of the stairs just for left, and I was like, oh crap, I don't want him to kick it. So I said, mind, uh... Watch out for my cup. Yeah. And... Because I was... What I thought, initially, when you said cup... Yeah. I thought, watch out for my cum. Oh. I thought you were going to say that. I was like, what? <laughs> and then, like, turn... It's like, if, if that actually was the case, I turn around and I was like, wait, what? And then I turn around and he just, it goes right in my eyes. <laughs> well, I'm done, I was like, yo. oh my god, it's fertilizing with my eyeballs. What the hell? No! I, thought, I thought because I was peeing... You thought I'd left the door open and I was going to say cock. <laughs> That's just as funny. Well, it's not as gross. Probably not, no. Uh, now we're going to attack his hand. Because that's how you defeat big black people. You go for the hands. Oh, what a... See, this is what thing. I like about Bleach, is that the good guys in that are black and the bad guys are white. And everything else is always darkness. What do you mean the black and, guys and I, are And, and I good. think that's secretly racist. What do you mean the black guys are good? I th I'd say most of the black guys in Bleach are bad. No, like, all the, all the good guys are dressed in black clothes and all the bad guys are dressed in oh, white Oh, well, yeah, clothes. that makes sense. Yeah. Apart from all of the Soul Society. What do you mean? Oh, well, well they are black and white. Whereas, oh. <laughs> whereas all of the Oran cars are dressed in white. Oh, 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 technique! See, that's the thing in this game... Oh, I've already killed him. <laughs> that was easy! Did you know? Yeah, it did seem easy. Did you know originally Bleach was going to be called Black, but he thought that was kind of generic, <coughs> so he was going to call it White, and then he thought that sounded bad, so he decided to call it Bleach. Right. I s yeah, but why did he call it Bleach? Because when you bleach things, they turn white. Well, you're staring into your soul. There's also the theory that it means it refers to when they bleach the souls of their sins to let them go to the Soul Society. I kind of wish they had stayed on that a bit longer than they did in the cart in the anime, mm. you know, because that was quite interesting. Just like rogue, kind of. This looks a little bit like rape. I'm just gonna say that. Okay. And he goes, "Oh my god, look at the <laughs> size of that! <laughs> you are the one Cause they, who will open your ass." It's like it, it was kind of monster of the week, but like all the monsters have their like cool Japanese superpowers and stuff, and sort of a mystery of how they're gonna beat them and getting to meet all of Ichigo's friends. I thought that was quite interesting and then after that it was kind of it was kind of like two seasons of just straight let's try and save Rukia. Yeah. Which was good. I think yeah, it was first... good. Don't diss it. No, I'm not dissing it. I just wish we had spent a little more time in uh, the Karakura Town arc. Yeah. I think it, they had like little mini episodes after that. Oh, POV scene. Yeah. Um, and I quite liked those. What, POV scenes? That's weird how she said bum. Sorry, yeah, you, know, you lazy bum. Yeah, it's 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 <laughs> not something you you'd expect. <laughs> this huge black thing. <laughs> it's was I was swallowed up by a huge black thing, and I swallowed. Or was it? I don't know. Suppressed memories and all that shit. I pretty got raped, but it, oh well. So bizarre. See, that's a weird thing to run back and dudes to say. Mm. Oh, by the way, this is Haley Haley Joel Osmond. And I always thought that Sora looked a little bit like an anime version of him. Yeah, okay. Not in his old age now. And by old age, I mean 22 or something. Did you say this was young Simba? No. Who is it then? Um, he's the guy in Sixth Sense and, uh, you know, he's, he's a kid in Oh, that. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, yes. Forrest young Forrest Gump, Gump. No, Forrest Gump's son. That's yeah. It. What are you talking about? Well, it was Forrest Gump Jr., wasn't he? Uh... <laughs> 
I don't know. Aren't you guys forgetting about me? <laughs> there's, uh, there's one thing I really love about these games, and during cutscenes they have like animated eyes and animated mouths. But then, like, one scene later, like, it'll, it'll just cut to them not having either of those animations. Yeah. It'll just have, like, pasted on eyes and pasted on... Look here! She's so far away and she has animated everything. They all do. And then... I don't know, for a split second there, you actually saw Kyrie and she didn't have anything. Hmm. Yeah, but that, yeah, that's just one of the charms of this game I really like. Look, she's so stupid. Look, listen to the way she's laughing. She's like, hey, 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 she sounded hey, like hey, a, hey. she sounded like a baby. She's, she 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 acts like a right stoner in this game. But in the next they game, all do a little bit. I don't like Kyrie in the next game. I prefer Kyrie in this game. Why wow, do you think she was a bit of a wilting flower in the second game? Well, yeah, she just seemed like depressed all the time. Hmm. And then when she wasn't depressed, she was crying with happiness. But well, it didn't, it didn't come around as as happy. That's okay. the thing, you know, in uh, Japanese media, they tend to favour the angst, don't they? Especially the angst of teenage years. 